When visiting websites on your iPhone, you're potentially leaking all your personal data, like your location, your camera, potentially trackers from one website to another. Keep in mind, a lot of these settings are not turned on by default, and you need to manually go in and make sure your security is first and foremost when you're visiting websites so that you can securely visit them without Safari or any other web browser leaking your data. Let's walk through all of that. So let's hop out of the Safari app or Chrome if you use that and get into your settings. We're gonna do everything in the settings of your iPhone. Now from here to get to your Safari settings, we're gonna scroll down to the very bottom and tap on apps here. And then we're gonna scroll down until you get to Safari. Now, when you do get to Safari on this list, you'll see lots of various settings. Keep in mind, there are lots that you don't necessarily need to mess with, but the ones that you do need to either turn on or off, I'll walk you through all of those. The first thing that I would recommend doing is scrolling down until you see the option that says privacy and security. Now, the first thing we will turn on is prevent cross-site tracking. This prevents websites when you visit one to send all your data and browsing activity to another one. For instance, if you're shopping for a new TV on bestbuy.com, it will prevent bestbuy.com from sharing all that information that you're looking for TVs to over to Facebook and prevent Facebook then from being able to see that and then advertise on Facebook TVs to you. You also want to go into hide IP address and we're gonna turn it on for trackers. Essentially your IP address is your home address for that device. So if you have your IP address visible to all apps and websites, they can say, oh, that's Trevor Nace. I know that person or I know that device and they like such and such and such and such and they live in this place, but you don't necessarily wanna share all that with them. So let's turn that off and hide it from trackers. A couple other things you want to turn on as well, fraudulent website warning and not secure connection warning. This will essentially warn you if you're visiting a website that doesn't have secure access to it, especially this is important if you're maybe buying something or making a purchase and it's not a secure website that basically Apple wouldn't recommend buying anything, or it's just a fraudulent website on Apple's list that could have malicious malware or spamware. Now let's go down to the very bottom after we've done that and tap on advanced at the bottom. And then website data at the very top. This is all of the website data that websites have downloaded onto your iPhone. Now keep in mind, a lot of these you will recognize because they should be websites that you visited. You can see Google, Gstatic, YouTube, Discord, a lot of these different ones are downloading tons of data onto your phone. If you don't recognize anything on here, you can always just swipe to the left and hit delete. Or you can also just go through and remove all the website data. Essentially this will remove all of that cache and downloaded files onto your iPhone. It's just good housekeeping to delete it out every once in a while. You also want to go through other things like advanced tracking and fingerprint protection. I would recommend turning this on for all browsing. Again, preventing websites from tracking you from one website to another and leaking your data and your source history and all that stuff. Now we also want to go through and you can see block all cookies. Depending if you turn this on, it could prevent certain websites from working. So depending on how you interact with Safari and the websites you visit, this could break some websites. You can choose whether to turn this on or off. I usually keep it off just because I don't want it to break certain websites, especially banking websites oftentimes need cookies to be able to function. Now let's go back because there are some other things as well. For instance, your location, microphone, camera. On all of these, if they are set to allow, this means any website that you visit can immediately just access your location or your camera or your microphone. And in almost every instance, you either want to have this set to ask, which will ask for permission. This is, for instance, if you go to a website that wants to basically video chat, like Google Meet or something through a website, it can ask you, hey, can I use your location or can I use your microphone or camera? and you can choose to say yes or no. 
or you can choose to deny it. But on all of these, microphone and then camera, let's set those to ask and not allow. After we've done that, let's go back one and then let's go up because there are other things I would recommend doing as well. As you scroll up, you'll be able to see on here, keep scrolling up, search engine suggestions. Essentially, this allows all of your searches to be sent to the search engine, in most cases, Google, and it will automatically leak that data to Google and then find some search suggestions and send them back to you. I don't necessarily recommend turning that on or Safari suggestions. Again, if you wanted to actually just search for something and hit the search bar, it will come back with results but there's no necessarily need to start sending all that data over to them without actually hitting the search button. Again, I would prefer to just basically hit the search button and then it be sent off. On a lot of other ones, quick uh, website search. This will scan websites for you and allow you to search a bit easier, but I don't necessarily use this feature and I don't search on websites all that often. So I would again recommend turning this off. After we've done that, you can see another option is Apple Intelligence and Siri. You can see learn from this app, show app and suggestions. If you want Safari or basically Siri to analyze all of your websites that you visit in Safari, then I would recommend turning this off. Essentially, this allows Siri and Apple Intelligence to get an idea of everything that you do in Safari, all of the websites that you visit, all of that stuff and learn from it. But again, I don't necessarily want that information to be sent off to Siri or Apple Intelligence. I would recommend turning that off. And then let's go back and do one more housekeeping thing. Let's scroll down because towards the bottom here, you can see clear history and website data. Again, go through this process and clear it for all time and all profiles and just hit clear history. Again, this is a good thing to do every once in a while just so that you help protect your privacy when visiting websites on Safari.